Fabulous week, friends. In today's video, I'm gonna bring you all along for a fun fall vlog. We are gonna take a drive over to our local park and look at some of the beautiful autumn views and the beautiful color. It is peak color right now. So we're gonna see some of the beautiful fall foliage and I thought I would bring you along for that little drive. And then we're gonna ride over to our local pumpkin patch and pick out some pie pumpkins because I'm ready to start preparing for Thanksgiving and getting some of these pumpkins cooked up and made into fresh pumpkin puree because um, I love to make these homemade pumpkin pies for our family get-togethers every year and I'm also going to be sharing with you in this video our favorite um, pumpkin pie recipe. I've made a different recipe each year and then last year I finally found the one that I loved the most. It's our absolute favorite now so I'm going to share that recipe with you and then also a yummy cozy vegetable soup that we're going to make at the end too. So I'm going to just like share cooking and baking and our little fall drive. I hope you enjoy coming along for this. It's probably going to be just a short video but I wanted to share a little fall day and some glimpses at the beautiful foliage that is surrounding us right now and all of that to kind of wrap up the fall season. So I hope that you enjoy coming along and um, spending a little time with me today in this video and we will head to our fall drive. Okay, we are back home now, so I'm gonna get started on getting these pumpkins in the oven. I'm just gonna cut this in half and then scoop out all of the seeds and get those in a bowl to give to the chickens. And then I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350 and we're gonna bake it for about 45 minutes until the insides are nice and soft and you can easily scoop them out and get them in your food processor. Okay, now while we're waiting for the pumpkin to bake, we're gonna get started on the soup. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dice up the onion, carrots, and the potatoes to get those ready. And then I also have the sausage going in the Instant Pot. So we're gonna brown the sausage and then add the onion and carrots to it, get that all cooked. And then we'll add in the other veggies and get those going. This is a creamy vegetable soup that has sausage. You, of course, do not have to add in any meat um, if you want it to just be vegetable soup, but we like to add in ground beef or sausage to ours just to add a little more flavor to it and a good protein so you can kind of make this in a variety of different ways depending on your and your family's likings and then um, you can also add in different vegetables to it depending on what you all like so it is such a yummy soup and we love having this during the fall and winter and then along with the onions, potatoes, and carrots, we also love to add in peas, broccoli, and corn. And then lots of salt, pepper, um, some oregano, and parsley. And then we're gonna pour in the broth and then cook this on the soup setting on the Instant Pot until it is nice and hot and everything is soft. And then you're gonna add in your heavy cream and your cheese um, and mix it all together and that is it. 
Okay, so here's how the soup turned out. It is such a delicious and hearty fall and winter soup. Y'all will have to let me know in the comments below if you decide to try it or if you've made it before um, and if you love it or what are some variations of this vegetable soup that you love to make or add to it. I know you can add celery and there's a lot of different things. You could add sweet potatoes or you could even add um, butternut squash or diced pumpkin to it. There's a lot of different vegetables and things that you can add to make it nice and tasty so I'd love to hear if you give it a try and what you think of it um, and then once the pumpkin is done I'm going to scoop it out let it cool and then we're going to get it in the food processor and get it all blended up I had already made the pie crust the day before and had it waiting in the fridge so I'm just gonna get that out and roll it out and get it in our pie dish and now it is time to mix up the pie filling and what makes this pie filling so amazing um, and better than the previous pumpkin pies I had made is that it uses heavy cream instead of um, sweetened condensed milk so it just makes it such a rich and creamy texture and it is so delicious. I found this recipe from Acre Homestead. I love her cooking videos. Her cooking has just inspired me in so many ways and I love to get recipes from her channel and her pumpkin pie recipe is like I said now our favorite. So we're going to add all of the eggs and the heavy cream, the pumpkin pie spice, the brown sugar and get it all whisked together and then we're going to pour it into our pie crust. Hello Ramona I can't shake the simplest feeling Beyond the ghost We stand on it sure hello Ramona. I reach through mysterious ceilings my only hope I look for the things I don't know Show me where the ending goes. Here is how our pie turned out. And I forgot to mention earlier that this is a gluten free crust. So I will have the crust recipe linked separately down below in the description box if you are gluten free and needing a good um, pie crust recipe this is a really good one and the one that i use every year so i will have that linked in the description box if you click on the see more option it'll take you down to that and you can find the pie filling and then the separate pie crust recipe and if you're making just a regular crust that will be included in the pumpkin pie filling recipe as well she has both of those on her site and it is super easy to follow so i hope that you um will let me know if you decide to try out this pie or the soup that we made today i hope you enjoyed just getting to spend some time together on this beautiful fall day and see some of the pretty foliage and all of that i hope that you have had a beautiful fall season yourself and thank you so much for watching and for being here and for all of your support and i will see you all in my very next video bye sweet friends Thank mm -hmm. you.